Yeah, that is a kill site. And like I said, they leave <laughs> virtually nothing except the horns, because that probably would hurt. Um, and these, all these pictures that I'm showing you are from the researchers from Cedarburg, from Burland, and all over, from around here. Wow. Okay, then, they also scratch trees. Why do they do that? Sharpening their claws. Okay, sharpening their claws, yes. But they're also marking their territory. Under their claws, they have special glands, and it leaves a scent. So then they scratch a tree to also um, to sharpen their claws, but also to leave scent and tell the others that this is my territory. You're allowed to come here. Males and females are territorial, and leopards are solitary. They only meet up to mate, and then they'll go off again. Okay. <coughs> and then <coughs> the researchers have put out um, these camera traps. So it's motion sensitive and heat sensitive. Something walks in front of it. They'll take a series of photos and then um, they come and collect the SD card. So they're obviously looking at the populations and also trying to identify the leopards. And you can identify each leopard individually by its spots. It's like our fingerprints. Um, they all, each one is different. So that's how they can actually tell that this is um, this leopard and it's walked past this camera five times. It's not five leopards. So that's how they tell. Okay, so they don't obviously only get the leopards. That's the aim. But they get everything else. So these pictures are from either the Cedarburg or the Bullard. And the top left is? Yes. <laughs> top right? <laughs> yes. And the leopards love to eat the Clipsbringer. Um, Artfark, also Artvol. Here's your Cape Fox. Spotted Janet. Grey Mongoose. Yes. <laughs> you guys are good. <laughs> okay, that's your Cape Hare, the infamous honey badger, Cape Coast otter, <laughs> African striped weasel. Okay, then there's the caracal, Royca, also known as the lynx. At the moment, this is the top predator on Table Mountain. Because the last time a leopard was seen in the Cape Peninsula was in the 1850s. So they've been driven out. And um, the caracal still occurs on Table Mountain. There's the dussies, which we see a lot of. And the leopards love to eat the dussies. Leopards are very opportunistic feeders. So they'll go from anything like your small mouse to something twice their size. They're very strong. They can take up something twice their size up a tree. Um, but not only in the Western Cape, because we have so few... Trees. But if they were, they could. <laughs> then it's the book and then the porcupine, which they also like to eat. And then, <laughs> infamous baboons. <laughs> Lots of them all over um, Table Mountain, obviously, and in the Cedarburg at our campsite. They often come down in Takai, they're a big problem. Um, so we always tell our kids at camps don't feed the baboons because they're going to become a problem. Let's keep them wild. Um, but this often happens. Because they yes, they're extremely curious and inquisitive and clever. So they want to know what's this new thing in my area. Let me come see. And I actually have a picture of one over there. But they're trying to get the camera off. So and it also it's almost like... <laughs> Do you see a similarity? <laughs> okay, that guy looks like a serious hiker. <laughs> so, yeah, humans are also very interested they want to know, they want to say hello. So, when, when the researchers check the SD cards, they're going to find lots of... <laughs> These photos of people and baboons. And also, um, they put the camera traps on trails, so hiking trails or even roads, because animals tend to use that. They like to use the roads and trails instead of bushwhacking through the bushes, just like us. We'd rather use the trail than walk through the bushes. So that's strategic of them, so they put the um, camera traps on trails. And they get actually a lot of pictures. Okay, and then fortunately, <laughs> they finally got they put only the tail. But there is a 
quite a big male leopard in the Cedarburg. Was he taken in the Cedarburg in 2009? His name's Titus. So every leopard that they collar and um, identify, they name the leopard. And um, this one actually weighed about 42 kilograms. So one of the larger Cape, um, Cape leopard males. Okay, and then that's her name is Spot. <laughs> she has a collar, and who knows the mountain in the background? Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's the female. They are generally well, smaller, thinner, and the neck of the males are thicker. So you can generally tell the difference by looking at the size of the neck. And obviously, um, that one is collared, and they, if they capture the leopard, then put the collar on, and then you can see where it's walking. It's got GPS tracking on. It's a female with her cub. That cub's about five months. So cubs will stay with um, with the mother until about 12 months, sometimes more, and then they go off on their own. And then um, female cubs will sometimes stay around the territory of the of the mother, but the males have to go off and find their own place. It's a harder life for the males. <laughs> 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 so, um, you see, uh, you know, the, the male only after mating immediately goes away. Yes. So it's the, the, the male that receives scones and the and the female looks after the, the offspring. So so usual. Yes. Okay. It's like human behavior. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> just <laughs> being a step. Yes. And then cubs when they're born they don't have those rosettes, they just have the black spots, they only get them later. Again, there's that picture again. This, this was actually taken above where I live, um, close to where I live in Paul. So this is in the Bono. His name was Enzo. Well, is. He's still alive. <laughs> and there it's um, taking a rabbit and a dussy. Wow. Oh, oh, and the way that they kill their prey is they suffocate by um, killing it on the neck. And um, with a porcupine, I suppose you wondered how it, how it catches yes. it. Okay. Oh. So, <laughs> carefully, yes. So it'll use its paw and then knock the porcupine on its back because the stomach is the weak spot, and then they'll attack it from, from the stomach and then just eat it up. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, can anyone see what the date is below there? Yes, 24th of April. 24th of April 2015. So this picture was taken last month. and right near our campsite in the Cedarburg at Mikey Sophia. Wow. Actually, really, really close to where we have our tents with the kids. <laughs> so, some of the kids are very excited about this, but some of them are very, very scared. And then they don't even want to come out their tent. Um, <laughs> but this is very exciting, and just to show that they are there, still walking around. And this is a male, who's so got a thicker neck. Okay, so there are threats to the leopards um, and predators in general. Um, obviously, there's um, habitat loss. So the last Cape Leopard was seen in the 1850s. Obviously, infrastructure came in Cape Town and Table Mountain is now <coughs> isolated. Because they have such a large territory, they can't sustain themselves on places like Table Mountain um, with being isolated like that because then you get things like diseases creeping in and genetic imbalances. So habitat loss is the main thing, and also the leopards, especially Cape leopards, prefer the mountainous areas, so being up on the mountain and in the rocky areas. Um, so that's just to show you, there's, okay, so habitat loss because of clearing, um, fires, also fires can be good, but not so good as of too frequent, and it also, it's negative impact on the ecosystem. And then obviously farmers keeping livestock, and introduction of alien species, um, plants and animals, and then diseases like I said, obviously pollution, and things like global warming, and illegal poaching, hunting, and all sorts of those things. So, so this is just to show you, um, when Europeans first arrived, obviously there were things like elephants, rhinos, hyenas, all sorts of things, and then <laughs> roads came, and people came, and then the leopards had to move, obviously, to the Bula. And like I said, the top predator now is the caracal on <coughs> Table Mountain. 